when you're playing a defending state champ and, and uh, number one team in the, in the state, you can't you can't make mistakes. And, uh, Offensively, we have a lot of kids back that played on that state title team. Defensively, we lost a lot. And the biggest question we had going into the year, okay, well, how do we get these younger kids to buy into the type of success that we had last year? We, we have to play a very, very good game. And last year when we approached this game, uh, we sort of had the Lincoln Way East turn, uh, hangover. Uh, you know, we sort of slept walk through the first half and then sort of made it again the second half. And we, we won't be able to afford to do that uh, tonight. If we play mistake free and our kids fly to the ball like we know they can and we keep hold of the ball, I think we'll come out on top. Welcome to the CN 100 game of the week as we come to you tonight from Bolingbrook High School where it's the undefeated Raiders defending Class 8A state champions of Bolingbrook against the 3-1 Vikings from Homewood Flossmoor. Good evening everybody as we welcome you to the broadcast. My name is Wayne Randazzo alongside former Northwestern running back Don Johnson and Don two heavy hitters tonight from the Southwest Suburban Blue. Yeah, both these teams know each other very well in conference play but tonight is an opportunity uh, for uh, Homewood Flossmoor to come in here. They're pretty hungry. They're coming off a game where they think they can come in here and compete with uh, uh, with the Vikings. Yeah. Homewood Flossmoor has won its first three games, but last week a loss to Lincoln Way East, and Donald Loss, you feel like they need it. Well, the Lincoln Way East game, I think, is a preparation for this game, really. Teaches them the pre preparation and be ready for a tough game. They've had three tough games. And, I, and on the other side of the ledger, I don't think Bolingbrook has been in a tough game this season. They haven't been tested in a while. The defending state champs, a perfect 4-0 with four convincing wins. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, the state champ comes in with a lot of confidence. And, of course, they've got a lot of weapons offensively and a retooled defense that we're going to see here today. Bailey has kept the ball twice and has picked up 20 yards. Bailey this time will keep it himself again after pulling it out. Bailey has some daylight running to the end zone. Nobody's catching Aaron Bailey tonight. That's a touchdown of 55 yards, and the Raiders strike first. Well, the key to the whole play here is uh, the play fake inside. It froze the linebackers. They weren't really sure if Bailey had the ball, and then he pulls it out of the running back's stomach and follows him in the hole. You're going to see it right here. Puts it in the belly, pulls it out, follows him in the hole. Then he knows what to do with it once he sees the crack. He's been so effective this year making these long plays. First down, red zone chance for HF as they hand it off up the middle and heading to the end zone for the touchdown. Lionel James and the Vikings get on the board to tie it up at six. Straight up the gut, Lionel James with a 20-yard touchdown run. And after Bolingbroke scores on their opening drive, the Vikings answer right back. So Lionel just comes in here, goes right up the guard gap, and then nothing but daylight there, and he knows where the end zone is. Minute 45 left, it's 19-7 Bolingbroke, a pass play, the ball tipped and intercepted, heading for the end zone. Bernard Flowers with Gooch behind him, and Gooch pulls him down, but Flowers, after the deflection, picks it off and runs it up the field deep into Bolingbrook, rather into HF territory. I believe the defensive end got his hand up on the play that made this interception possible. You're going to see it. He's reading the quarterback's eyes, gets his hands up, blocks it, and then a heads-up play here. And then he just takes off running. A great job here, Bernard Flowers, creating turnover situation. Jamal Anderson, you know that Dirty Bird dance by heart, don't you, Don? Oh, yeah. Sheehan reaches out and makes an incredible one-handed catch in the corner of the end zone. A touchdown for Homewood Flossmoor. Oh, I love that about Sheehan. That's money, baby. Right-handed catch and uh, just pure concentration out of that young man, especially at this point in the game. You can tell that's a guy that battles. Watch this. A right-handed catch. Puts the ball over the right shoulder on the fade. Oh, yeah. Got to love it. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.